And he's so strong getting to the rim and finishing. Really not great in that category. 23rd in the league. Another turnover here. Five more off to the races and goes right back to back. Flushes time for the corner. We'll talk a little bit more about Doc Rivers and what he has meant to this organization. Reggie spins, fades, fires. And Harden has the leaping rebound for Philadelphia. And just his 14th game. 13th game with the 76ers. And nine and three when he takes the floor. He misses and Joel Embiid is 0 for three to start. For Philadelphia, lob inside, deflected again. Thibo has been all over the place for the 76ers. Harden accelerates down the lane, bumps into Morris, and will go to the line for two. In that game back in Philadelphia, the Clippers had a double-digit lead in the first quarter. Thibo inside, a whistle and a foul will go to the line for two. Behind the three-point line, the perimeter guys are to go give them beat a lot of room. Reggie misses on the finding the ball in the air, grabbing it, and finishing. For as well as the Sixers have played, and as poorly as the Clippers have shot, it is only a 15-point deficit for the Clippers. I don't know if that's the exact terminology. Deflection interception. Here come the Clippers on a power play if they hurry. Jackson alone for three. And the Clippers 0 for 6 from above the arc. And a nice defensive sequence there for the Clippers. Jackson mid-range jump shot. In and out. And Reggie is 0 for 4 to start. Jackson gets the screen from Zoo. Zoo rescreens. Jackson is free. Let's it go from straight away. It bounces off the orange iron. Harden has it. Right through the bottom of the net. Let me check my notes. Oh, it says he's very good at basketball. Jackson, the floater. Bounce. Largest lead of the game for Philadelphia. Jackson dashing down the lane to the rim with the right hand, and he leaves it in his first bucket on seven tries. 40 seconds to play in the second quarter. Down 24 against Philadelphia back in January, only to win the ball game down the stretch. Reggie makes the first of two by two for 16 in the first half. Second free throw by Jackson falls. One second to play. Ty Lu drew up okay, coming out to start the second half. An old Philly play they used to use for Iverson many years ago. Jackson gets into the paint and floats it in. I do like how the league is more one-two punches than the one-two-three punches as Reggie Jackson gets right to the rim and lays it in. Clippers were 8 for 23 in that second quarter. Reggie misses on the jumper. The Sixers were 9 for 30 after going 11 for 22. Clippers are not going to complain. They need all the help they can get. Down 66 to 47. They give the ball right back. And Embiid runs the show for Philadelphia. Something's going to come pretty soon, but I don't want to take away that opportunity that the Clippers had right there. And I, I felt that Embiid... Was it Monday? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Time flies, together right? at this point. Well, that's what they call a makeup call. Was it Monday? Yeah. <laughs> it all, it all blends flies, together right? at this point. Well, that's what they call a makeup call. Philadelphia 6 of 10 from the field. 1917 here in the frame for the Clippers. Lots of congestion inside. Leather Larcity. Here comes Avita Zubats. Back to coffee. Flicks the wrist again. Jackson for three. Happens in the playoffs, the matchup situation that those two will create. Reggie Jackson down the lane, elevates, climbs to the iron, and flushes it in 85-67. Game and guys, I've got some of this merchandise. It looks great. Appreciate you sharing that, Christina Pink. In the Philadelphia orbit, that Maxi is the one that benefits the most from Harden. Now he can go back to his more natural position. Doesn't have to play the role of point guard.